All right, welcome back to Digital Rap Scallions. We've got to do something. Hurry, we don't have enough time for this, so we're skipping the introduction. We're breaking the door open and going in. Hear me, O oh powers of darkness. Mind, oh, this is you, not me. Hear me, O oh dark powers. <laughs> Light the darkness and bind Iblis to me forever. Your spell seems to travel triggered a magical spell on that statue, Master. Uh, what the fuck? I can't do anything. What? I can't do nothing. No, nope, I'm dead. The building starts to collapse as the abyss rises up. You frantically hold on the edge and crumbles in your hands. So the only consolation is the look of surprise on Adamus' room as the roof collapses on him. And we're all dead again. Dang it. Alright, break the damn door open. Go on, break the damn door open. Right, break the door open. Oh, candles. Oh, there we go, that was a problem. Oh, he's free. Okay, I forgot I had to run to run. You gotta hit escape to make him fucking run. I forgot. Run away from that. Duh. I was trying to dodge around him. Break the damn door open. You see the spell seems to trigger magic spell. Kick the damn candle. You! You broke my spell! You will die! Oh, this is you. Shit. You! My spell is broken! You will die! Fool, you... You cannot hurt me now, and I shall send thee to thy death. Whoops. Standing in the ring of flames for too long got you all fired up. Raid rule number one. Don't stand in the bad shit. Stand in the fire. Alright, so how's it getting? Whoa! Alright, uh, new spell is saying to trigger the magic spell. Candle. You will die! Run, run. What do you mean? What the fuck? Like, I couldn't get past it. Perhaps you should have been galvanized and sent into action instead. You sure got a charge from that lightning. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. I don't care if nobody seems to be listening, you assholes. Break the damn door. Open the door. Run from the damn bomb monster. Run, kick the candle open. You've broken my spell, you will die. Fire pops up. Ah, 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 knock him with fire! No! No! Master, help me! We did it! Hooray! Thank you, Master. Now I can take a bliss back to his tomb where he will be safe for another thousand years and a year. I knew I'd remember it. The real prophecy is one thousand years and a year so we bliss shall be caught in the tombstones of the city where he and I once fought. Until moonlight has been captured twixt the scorpion and drake, then come a hero from the north and ancient powers wake. Led by the fo led and followed by a dark one, guide to deceit and despair, passing through the trial by fire, Trials by wind, water, and air, passing through the door unopened, barriered, that yields to none, by my name of Suleiman, so shall this be done. Come at last unto the trail, and to he who waits behind, seek ye then to capture bliss, ere he rises unconfined. Else shadow come over night, uh, night eternal, darkness overshadows light, unless a hero seeks the darkness and restores the wrong to right. Bye bye, master, it's been fun. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. With the help of the slave woman Mason, you have found in the you have found the Emir Allison hiding in his bedrooms. With a few with your urging and a few sharp remarks from Mason, the Emir swore he'd restore the city by the first light of dawn. Emir Aladdin Aladdin Hassan ordered all fighting to cease and proclaimed the evil rule of Adivis and Kadeem to be over. As the Emir began an incredibly dull speech, you slip away to complete your quest. You stand beside the cracked and dry fountain plaza of Zir. You hold in your hands the water skin containing the water elemental that you captured so long ago in Shapir. The elemental, really under your command, is released into the fountain. You're home. You're free now! She drains the city, we all die. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, hey. Whoosh! <laughs> like magic. comes back to the city. Just like that. You stare in wonderment by the power of uh, transformation by the plaza of the magic of the water elemental. Do, do, do. It's you Abdullah! Abdullah, you fat bastard. Where you been? He's waiting for us. 
Sultan has personally sent me to return you to his palace, hero of all Shapir. Ugh, <sighs> fine, let will take a break. Seriously. Ta-da! Now, this is the big deal. This is we get to find out whether or not we became a paladin. If Rakesh speaks up during this ordeal, we become a paladin. If he does not speak, we fail. Terranar, thou shalt stand before Sultan Halarun. May he be reign forever to be judged. Will anyone street speak for the stranger of the north? We shall speak for Terranar. Control the got the king down. <laughs> we are Shimin and Shima, keepers of the Catatel Inn. When the Catar were driven from his ear, we journeyed to the Northland in search of a hero. We met Terranar. Through his courage and skills, he restored the Baron's son and daughter and banished the wicked Baba Yaga. He became a hero of Spielberg. This is totally a true story. He journeyed to back with us to Shapir. Here he defeated the elementals of fire, air, earth, and water to save our city. He is a true hero. So, so Who will speak for this hero of Spielberg? I shall speak for Terra. I'm Walid, a guard of the palace and a member of the Eternal Order of Fighters. This man vanquished me in fair fight and demonstrated great skill in combat. When I lay helplessly on the ground, he was given orders by the members of the EOF to kill me. Instead, he showed me mercy. This man is a true hero. <laughs> Who will speak for this man of mercy? I shall speak for Terra. Ziza. I am the Enchantress Ziza. This man went in t in, of his own free will into the Playa Desert to sought and sought the woman, plant woman Julinar. Through his kindness and compassion, he allowed Julinar to forget the pain and suffering of her past and to again face life with joy. This man also found a caged beast in the desert. Though it was wicked and most foul, Terranar turned aside its wickedness and restored its humanity. We shall hope it may learn from the kindness of the hero. Oh, this man is a true hero. She's so smitten by me, it's great. <laughs> Who will speak for this man of kindness? The slut. I shall speak for Terranar. I am a gruff old woman. <laughs> I am Zayish, Zayisha, daughter of the Emir Al Ali Al Din Hassan. He's crazy. To her. In order to escape the repression of my homeland, Razir, I asked the stranger for aid. At the risk of his own life, he helped me escape the city. He is a true hero. Who will speak for this man of courage? Wrong. <laughs> Let him have a voice that he may speak. You offered the source one of your spell potions. When out of his transformed me into a Saurus, I lost all hope of returning to my true form. Yet this man showed me his courage, kindness, and honor, and I knew Terranar would restore me. The king's back! Who will speak to this man of honor? The Sultan shall speak for Terra. <laughs> this is all you brought up here. I am Harun al Rashid, Sultan of the land of Shapir. I am the poet Omar, teller of tales for all to hear. By the words which have been spoken, by the deeds that have been done, I proclaim this man a hero. Now I call this man my son. He's adopting you. <laughs> you are now the Prince of Shapir! <laughs> Yeah, Terranar's a prince. Is there anyone now who will speak for this son of the Sultan? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I shall speak for him. <laughs> this man has shown courage in the face of danger, kindness to those in need, generosity to the poor, honesty in dealing with others, and mercy to his enemies. He is a man of great honor. A Terranar I, Rakish, Russia Rakish Sartarna, will offer you my sword, Soulforge. Will you accept it and the title of Paladin that comes with it? Hell yes! You tell Rakish that you are honored to accept the title. Then you are now a Paladin. That's a Paladin! I have the power! Ha ha ha! We did it! Check it out! There's Terranar in all his glory, and he was almost fucking dead by the end of it. <laughs> it almost killed him, but not quite. We did it! Check it out! Paladin. He bubbled. Yeah, and now he's got a bubble hearth. Gotta go home. <laughs> Alright, we did it! We are done! 
we managed to beat the whole game, and I'm not going to make you all sit through the credits. Um, congratulations, you completed the game. I got 534 to 550 possible points. I skipped a few things and didn't talk to a few people. Things like that. I wouldn't have gotten the Suckly Frog thing. If you've not already done so, we encourage you to play Quest for Glory 2 with other characters. In the meantime, you're still a winner. Your hero will now be saved for use in Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. Um, we are going to call this C. James. There we are. That's it. Name contains a valid character. Fuck you. Uh, Terranar. Your paladin has been saved as Terranar in the game's directory for using Quest for Glory 3. Nice. Thank you for playing Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire, and congratulations on winning! We'll see you again soon in Wages of War. Whether or not we actually do a playthrough of Wages of War is yet to be seen. I think we should. We're gonna do the whole thing? Knock it all through, right through, make him the king of Samir and... That's right. So, yeah? We're gonna go all the way. So, all the credits rolling, I just want to take this quick opportunity, uh, first of all, to thank my first mate T for being here for this whole playthrough. Hey. He's been here this whole time. Um... It feels like I've been here for days. <laughs> All right. So, um, this has been our inaugural playthrough. This has been the very first playthrough that we've done, and we managed to finish the game, no less. Although, we kind of anticipated this as much. Um, we're going to be doing many more playthroughs. As you can see, we're going to be doing Quest for Glory 3, Quest for Glory 4, Quest for Glory 5. We're going to do all of them. Good God help us. Um, <laughs> we have other games in mind. Um, I have a whole list of games that I'm planning to do Let's Plays of. Some of them may involve uh, my first Métis. Some may involve other people. Um, we'll see when uh, they get done. Um, one of them you should look forward to that I know I'm going to plan to be doing is I'm planning to do Sierra's um, Robin Hood. Uh, that's a big one that uh, was requested to me from one of my um, close friends. So we're going to do that one because he hates Nyman Morris. Uh, Is anyone going to change for a dollar? <laughs> He's reading all the things here. All right, well, I'm not going to leave you watching through this intro. Um, it has been great. We're glad to see it, see it, have you guys with us, and we will see you on our next episode of Digital Rapscallions. This has been your captain speaking, and this is my first Métis. Out. See you later. <laughs>